This is a pivotal moment. My great concern, uh, to start off our conversation, is that the government in Iraq, just as it's taken back most of Mosul, really doesn't have a plan in place for governance. It's got a plan for security, but the question is, how does it make a community, widely diverse community in Mosul, feel that they are represented, that their interests, their future, their livelihoods, their security are protected. And that's, I think, the government has to a lot of convincing to do. 14 years after the US intervention in Iraq, we still don't have a plan for power sharing nationally. And of course, Mosul is now a microcosm of that challenge. And so the fate of Mosul will, in many ways, decide um, the future of Iraq. And then in Syria, you have a, 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 an array of wars playing out that are internal, are regional, and also pit the major powers, the United States and Russia, against each, each other. It has a sectarian component, uh, Shiite versus Sunni. It has the regional component of different players, whether it's the Gulf states uh, supporting some of the rebel movements, Iran supporting the government of President Assad. So this is a, a, a time that there's still a lot of sorting out to do, even as we feel much more confident about fighting, finally defeating the world's most virulent extremist movement.